Anyway, you've been out getting some culture, haven't you, Eliza? Oh, culture, yeah, that's right, darling. Um, so <laughs> I went... <laughs> Uh, well, first of all, let me tell you that this is a really incredible story. So there's a relatively unknown artist who was living in Spitalfields and very sadly he died during the lockdown and his flat was being cleared when his neighbour noticed that this amazing artwork was coming out of his flat and about to be chucked away. So he rushed down, saved what he could. And now this work is hanging in no less than the Saatchi Gallery in London. So shall we take a look? Yes. Here we go. Wow, this is incredible. First impressions? Uh, George would have been proud. Aww. And I am too. They were almost trashed, but now they're treasured. And these optical illusions are quite mesmerising. Some of these are really messing with my brain and my eyes. Ooh, but they're very, very clever. Eye bending, if that's an expression. No, Sally, it's not. You mean mind bending. But never mind. It's the story behind them that adds a whole extra dimension. Their creator was George Westron, a previously unknown artist, a man once homeless who has struggled with addiction. Sadly, George died during Covid. But a year later, his neighbour in Spitalfields, Alan, heard something strange. I heard a lot of commotion upstairs in George's uh, empty flat. Um, and I wondered what it was, stuck my head out and saw a bunch of guys from a clearance firm just um, putting these in the bin. Shocked, Alan quickly saved what he could. He also posted it on Twitter and it went viral. People wanted prints and the Saatchi Gallery wanted to show it. It's just really exciting. It's a human story that covers things that people don't always necessarily see from art. But the weird thing is, they look like they fit here. They totally look like they fit here. That is exactly... I walk, when we walked in, I just thought, this is just right. It's where they belong, yeah. Oh, it's such a shame he didn't see it. How do you feel about that, that idea that he hasn't seen this? I think that's, that's a bittersweet thought. What I love about these is that from a distance they look like they're done on a computer and then you come up close and you can see, my favourite fact, that they're done with a felt tip pen, which I find extraordinary. I don't think of art being done with a felt tip pen, this no, kind of art. No, the last time I used a felt tip pen was in primary school. Um, <laughs> there you but go. George kept using them and he became a master. Yeah. He's the master of the felt tip pen. The Masters pieces aren't currently on sale, but they are on show for most of the month. A talent no longer hidden and saved for all to see. Sally Williams, ITV News, Chelsea.